Before the video starts, before I get to the real intro, this is my 10th stadium, or my 9th stadium, um, is Chase Field. So here you go. Here's, this is my 9th out of the 30 MOB park, ballpark. So let's go. Okay. YouTube, welcome back. Um, vlog. Yes, I vlogged a lot recently. And this vlog is my experience on Chase Field. I'll be rolling a lot of clips. And first off, amazing week. I, w I just got back from Phoenix last night. Amazing week, guys. If you ever get the chance to go out to Arizona, I recommend it. I mean, amazing week. Chase Field, um, let me tell you something. I went on a Monday night. Corbin Carroll hit the walk-off. 9-8 final score. Dimebacks won. Just wanted to get that out of the way. As well as, I also did a Chase Field tour. If you ever go to Arizona or go to the stadium, I recommend doing that as well. They'd be really good insight. And the tour guys here are amazing. Our tour guy was great. So, yeah. Let's get to the video. I'll be voiceovering as I explain how I felt about the stadium. Let's get into it. Here we are walking up around the stadium. Here is the concourse around Chase Field with the players on them. See Perdomo, Peterson. There's the front of the stadium. There's the Phoenix skyline. You can see the footprint center right next to it. Here you go. You walk into the stadium. You have this little concourse thing as you walk into the stadium. You know, it shows the, that's the state of Arizona. There's this little golf court behind the team's store. And then here you go. You walk right into the stadium. Um, there's the field. Um, what a great view. This was on the tour. Here's a part of the stadium, the top part of the stadium. You could see a great view on the second deck. Uh, it can get really warm up there, but it is a great place to see. Here's the Hall of Fame, the Arizona Diamondbacks Hall of Fame. Um, you can see some of the things. They look at that. That was from the uh, World Series. And now we get onto the field as they were taking on the Washington Nationals. Here's some batting practice as we walk around the concourse behind the field. You can see they have some restaurants. There's batting practice getting wrapped up as looks like we are heading down to the seats. Here's the pool, the, in, the famous uh, Arizona Dimex pool. This is before the game, pregame, all that. Look at that pool again. There's one quick look at it again. That's the most famous thing at the stadium, as you can see here. There you go. So, there's home plate behind home plate. What a great view you can see right there. And now the game starts. C.J. Abrams. And as, gonna, as the clips start rolling, I'll talk about the clips, the first couple of clips. And then I'll get to my really great review. So, first inning, Nationals ended up actually taking a 5-0 lead. Alex Call hit a home run. Give them a 5-0 lead. This is still, you know, 0-0. There's C.J. Oh, that's... um. Wood for the rookie for the Washington Nationals. And here you go. Here's where it starts to get 5 nothing, um coming up for the Nationals. There's Alex Call. I think that was the home run that he hit. So 5 nothing Nats. So as now let's get back to the stadium. So here's my full review. So as I'll be rolling the clips, I'll be explaining what I did. So when we got there, went to go see batting practice. Obviously, the must. I ended up getting a one baseball from... Washington Nationals pitcher, DJ Hurst, what a great guy. Tossed me out of baseball, great guy. I was wearing my Nationals hat. I was rooting for the Nationals. There's my guy, Trey Lipscomb, um, big ball fan, by the way, so there he is. We moved seats around the first inning, so our seat, our, we were sectioned in around 108, and there was really nobody there. Or we weren't, yeah, one, our, yeah 108, and we moved over to 114. Um, here's the mascot race. I thought that was pretty cool. But back to the stadium itself. Um, the food, I got two hot dogs. Um, just ketchup only. You know, I'm a basic person, so got to get the – but you're going to a ballpark. Obviously, you got to get a hot dog at a baseball game. That, you know, that, that just seems like a must. That was pretty good. I get the hot dog around a 7 out of 10 rating. And then security-wise, staff, great people. Our tour guide, great person. And overall, it was a great experience at the game. I give the staff an 8. The guy who we sat in the first inning, um, he let us sit over there on the other side. Even though we didn't have a ticket for that section, he let us sit there. Great guy. And overall, it was a great experience. I mean, stadium atmosphere, though, I mean, it really seemed like the fans weren't really into this game. I mean, the Diamondbacks came back down 8-2 to two and won the game. And I just felt like, you know, the atmosphere could have definitely been a lot better. Stadium-wise, it was a very dark stadium. And I'm about to get to the outro here as here's some of the clips. And I'm going to get you guys. So Corbin Carroll actually had a walk-off home run. And I'm going to let you guys 
hear what the stadium was like on the walk-off home run. Here it is, folks. Okay, so final review on the stadium. Atmosphere, I give a five. I didn't think it was really that good. Stadium-wise, I give it a six. You know, kind of a basic same. Reminded me of Milwaukee a little bit. And then security, eight. They were really friendly. Let us move around. Great people. And then uh, just whatever, something else. Oh, food. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Final rating of the ballpark. I give it an 8 out of 10. I'm telling you, Chase Field is a great stadium. Um, It's indoors. If you don't like outdoor outdoor stadiums, this is perfect for you. We've got great air conditioning in the game. Um, Do a tour. I'm telling you guys, if you are in Arizona and you get two days, do a tour in the morning. You get a chance of insights. Um, I got to actually see like the dugouts and stuff. Awesome. And the tour is pretty cheap too. It's about 20 bucks. So tour, 20 bucks of the stadium. I definitely do that. I'd definitely do that again. If you guys are in Arizona, make sure to go check out a Dynamax game. There's my final review. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.